Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Tuesday CT. I am Kristen from Magoosh, and today we're talking about some ACT math tips, specifically how to solve problems having to do with similar triangles. So let's go ahead and review what similar triangles are. I like to think of them as mama triangles and baby triangles. It's a little silly, but it can help you visualize what similar triangles are, make it a little bit more visual. So I like to think of them as mama triangles and baby triangles because one is bigger and one is smaller, but they look the same, just like a mom and a baby might, or in this case, triangles. So what similar triangles are is they have congruent angles meaning the angles have the same measure, all their angles are congruent, not just two of them, all three need to be, and proportional sides is what this leads to. So you can imagine if the angles are all congruent, if they're all the same, that angle measure is then dictating what the angle of the sides are, and so that's why they end up looking the same. The key here to remember is proportional sides. So the question, let's go ahead and look at a sample question like you might see on the ACT, is always going to either let you know that they're congruent or give you those signals that they are congruent within the diagram. So you may remember from geometry class, we know that these are right angles so those are the same, and then we know these are the same because they have the same angle measure mark, just one, one slash here, and then two for the ones on top so we know that those are same as well. So what's going to happen is a question like this one is going to give you some of the side lengths, but not all of them. And you'll be signaled that we're dealing with similar triangles by something like this. Triangle XYZ and triangle ABC have congruent angles. Now we know we're talking about similar triangles. What is the length of ZY? So this length right here. So what you want to do is go ahead and set up a proportion. Remember, similar triangles have proportional sides, so let's set up a proportion to solve it. So small triangle and large triangle. Now the trick with proportions and cross multiplying, if this is one of your favorite strategies to solve problems on the ACT, it's one of mine, is to make sure you don't mix them up. Keep them straight. So small on top, large on bottom. Now you could, you could reverse that. You could have large on top, small on bottom, but don't mix up your numbers. So here I have my small numbers on top, or the small triangle numbers on top, and the large triangle on the bottom. So let's go back to our diagram. So we have a pair of sides here. So this is what signals to us what the proportion is going to be for these sides. So on the small triangle, it's three. On the large triangle, it's nine. So I have that set up there. And then I'm trying to figure out this one. So I need to see the corresponding side right here. And that's four. So on the small triangle, it's four. On the large triangle, I don't know what it is. So I put an X there. Now I'm going to cross multiply. And we get 3X equals 36. Solving that, we get X equals 12. So that is the length of this side. Now, a couple other things to note. You may have already realized that because we're dealing with some pretty easy numbers here for this sample problem. Three, four, five, it's pretty some pretty simple triangle you might recognize. And you can tell, if you look at this, that nine is three times three. Now, the numbers may not be that simple and you might want to set up a proportion just to make sure you don't make any mistakes. But if you notice that that's three times what this one is, you also know that this is going to be three times what this one is. So 12 and 4. Because 12 is three times of 4. Now, another thing to note, on the test, on the ACT, they're going to be drawn to scale. So if you're completely lost, at the very least, do some estimation on what the side lengths look like. And you can probably eliminate some answer choices that are way too big or way too small to work for the proportion. So similar triangles have congruent angles, meaning all the angle measures are the same, and proportional sides. So I hope that helps you out if you're struggling with this geometry concept. And I will see you here next Tuesday for Tuesday CT for some more ACT tips.